Hey guys, welcome back uh, to my channel. This is the 10th video in my Django series and uh, we're going to continue where we left off last time. We talked about uh, query sets in Django and today we're going to use uh, that knowledge to build a query set to retrieve the posts from the database and then display them. Okay, so uh, so far we have written uh, this view here which is routed from the URL right here. So when we go to the home page in our app, we go uh, call this post list view right here, which is supposed to render us this uh, HTML web page. Okay, but in this HTML web page so far, we have only written hello, which is a static web page. We want to add some things here. We want to show, for example, all of our posts. Uh, to do that, we need to retrieve the posts from the DB first. And all that logic that retrieves the posts from the DB is going to be written in the uh, post list view. And to retrieve the posts, we need to use Django ORM. And we're going to write a query set like we learned last time. Okay, I, ho I hope all that is clear so far. So let's go. In our view right here, post list, we will write a query set. We want to query the post model we have right here in the models. But before we uh, write the query, we need to import the post. And we're going to import it from models, from dot models, import post. We can use this shortened version dot models because we are in the same uh, directory. The views.py is in the same directory as models.py. Okay, so now we have the post and we need to write a query. Let's try to uh, write it like last time. Uh, we're going to call this post.objects.filter and we're going to filter uh, them by the publication date. Okay, let's check again. The field is called published date. So published date and we can do something like this. If you remember from our, in our last video, we can use this uh, filter less than or equals. So we can try to, uh, to filter all the posts which have already been published. So we can check that by making sure that the published date is less than or equal than uh, the current time we are doing this query. This uh, query. Okay, and how we can do that, we can use uh, a Django utils for time zone. So we need to import that as well. So from Django.utils import time zone. Yes, okay. Now uh, we want this less than or equal to time zone dot now. Okay, so this line right here makes sure that. Uh, we retrieve only posts which have a published date less than or equal to the current time. So that means only posts which have already been published. Okay, and uh, we can chain another. Uh, we can chain here another query, so we can also order them. So order, order by. So we order by the published date. So let's inside order by we put published date again. Okay, so this gives us uh, all the published posts we have in our DB. Let's save them uh, this result, uh, this query set into a variable. So I'm going to call this all posts. Let me close this at the moment. So I'm going to save all of this into all posts. Okay, so now we retrieved our posts from the DB and we want to show them uh, in our HTML uh, template. Okay, Django offers you uh, a mechanism for that. It's called a uh, context dictionary. You see, we left, last time we left this uh, empty and now we're going to put into the context dictionary the data we want to inject into the HTML to make it dynamic. Okay, so let's call this, uh, we're going to give it in the form of a dictionary, so it will be key value. 
all posts and all posts. So what this line here makes sure that when someone uh, goes to the home page, as is it as it is uh, specified in the URL, we're going to uh, use this post list view, which is right here, and this post list view is going to retrieve all the posts from the DB and is going to make sure that the post list.html is rendered and we pass as a context dictionary all the posts. Okay, now we can use this all posts in our post list HTML right here so we can so we can display all the posts okay now let's uh, first let's try if this works I'm going to just print all posts and I'm going to run the project in the terminal here as always python manage.py run server Let's go to localhost. Dot eight thousand uh, port eight thousand. Okay, let's see now. Now, as you can see, this line here shows that uh, our query set is working just fine, because when we go to the URL to the home page, it is executing the code in the view right here and it is also printing for us all the posts this is the query set with uh, the three posts we have created so far okay so it's working fine we only need to display it right now in the HTML let's uh, try to write a simple HTML page I'm going to close this so if you want to learn more about HTML make sure to check the link I have put in the description uh, where you have a text tutorial of the Django girls and there you can learn uh, the basics of HTML. It's really easy to pick up but the HTML is not uh, the main objective of this tutorial so I'm going to create a div right here. It would be nice if I had some support but for HTML but uh, let's write it down. So I'm going to make an h1 tag for uh, my I'm going to call this my blog okay now um, we don't want only a static HTML page we want it to make we want to make it dynamic and to do that we're going to use Django template tags uh, Django template tags allow us to inject Python into HTML. Since, HT since HTML is just a markup language, we need something to make it dynamic, to, uh, for example, to make a for loop, to iterate through all of the posts and show them. Uh, you will understand better when I do this example right here. So, uh, as I mentioned, the way we pass data to the HTML template is through the context dictionary. So now we have all the posts into this variable all posts, which we can access uh, into the rendered HTML page. To do that, we're going to um, use Django template tags. And to write a template tag, you put everything into the curly braces. So now I want to uh, write a for loop. So I want to write uh, a for loop using Django uh, template tags and to do that I can use this for uh, post in all posts remember that uh, we put it all into this variable all posts and we can end this loop with uh, end for okay now inside here we can access one post through this template tag, post. Let's first run this and see if it's working. So in the terminal, again, python manage.py run server. I'm going to leave this running as I continue to make the changes. So I'm going here, 
as you can see now I am showing all the posts so uh, I can access the data now let's make it look better in here I want to show um, first the let's put this uh, each post into a div to make it look better okay and I'm going to close that div every tag needs to be closed into HTML so um, let's write the title first I'm going to make the title an h2 tag and close that h2 tag inside this h2 tag I'm going to access the title through a Django template tag by doing this po uh, post dot title if you remember in the models here you can access let me make this smaller um, right here okay so to access the title you can uh, just use the title field in the template tag post dot title let's put uh, down here the uh, published date so I'm going to close this this is a p tag, the, a paragraph tag, and I'm going to call this post dot published date. Okay, and underneath I'm going to put the um, all the body or or all the text of the post. Okay, I'm going to call this post dot let's check in our model so we have post dot text okay let's see if this works let's refresh the page here nice this is working just uh, how we want it to so we have my blog and for each post we are showing uh, everything that we want the title the publish date and the text okay let's see what else we have here so we have the created date we don't want it to show so this is all we we want to show so at the moment we have a very very simple uh, blog app which is dynamic every time we uh, if we want to add a post through our admin panel it will be uh, automatically added here so to recap what we have done so far is that we have modified our view so that we wrote a query set which goes to the DB and retrieves all the posts it renders this HTML page and then make sure that we pass the data we get from the DB to the HTML web page through this context dictionary and now at the HTML we uh, wrote at first a simple static HTML page and by injecting a Python through Django templates template tags we can use the data we retrieve from the DB okay um, now this looks a bit ugly but you can try to uh, write some CSS to make it more pretty add some colors or some formatting and you can uh, check out the link in the description to do that so uh, that's it for this video uh, we will continue with our blog app, blog app in the next one. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share this to support the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.